we welcome you to Monster Energy AMA Supercross. And here we are at the home of the New England Patriots inside Gillette Stadium. I love this Futures program. And not only do they get to come out here and ride the same exact track, a lot of these guys get to train with pros during the week. Oh, he over jumps the finish line. Oh, and he gets stuck in the mud. Wow. That is that buried. Is how much mud we had yesterday. We <laughs> scraped it off. Oh. oh, looks like another guy stuck in the mud, a la Gavin Towers earlier today. Uh, but unlike uh. Gavin, he's actually stuck too, not just his motorcycle. So. <laughs> Seth Hammaker stuck in the, uh, in the illustrious. Muck. Yeah. <laughs> Big mud hole that we have. He's smart. He's not going in after his bike. He's getting off. Here is a replay. Get a little sideways right over the top block. And oh. boom. Nice soft landing. He like an airbag for the FMX guys out there. Same thing. Just about as soft. Good start. Chance Hymas on the Honda. He had a fall earlier today, but it hasn't affected him. Well, it hasn't. And that was a, a great start from the outside or mid pack. There, got a good drive out of the gate. How about Chance Hymas out in front? The teenager has never had a heat win. This is a big deal. He's doing great. I think this is where uh, Hayden Deegan can make a pass on Hammaker. Here we go, inside, outside, Hammaker, side by side. The crowd love it here in Foxborough. And Deegan is through. There he goes. Has a sneaky look over at Seth, and then gets on with it. And the inside goes McAdoo. It would bring up the 300th victory for Pro Circuit Kawasaki. That is astonishing. Uh, an incredible run for uh, Mitch Payton and company. Just uh, the guy works so hard and had some great athletes. Whoa! Whoa oh. Deegan kind of spins out. Lost the back end and he may have stalled it. Yeah, he stalled the bike. Oh, this is going to be huge. But this is coming to the end here for the first heat. McAdoo has a look on the inside. Chance Hymas. There's a big celebration because that's his first ever 250 heat victory. Working hard is something that is synonymous with this guy because he came to race Supercross here. Super, super credentialed. Gets the win, heat win for Max Anstey, but he doesn't stop working. And that work is paying off. Heat one of the 450s here in Foxborough. Let's do it. A blinding start by Eli Tomac. My goodness. That was something like we saw from Chase Sexton all the way back in San Francisco. I don't think he could have timed it any better. Look out. Here comes Justin Cooper. But that was a flyer from Eli. Oh. There's a big, there's a big roar. Somebody's gone down. We're hearing it's Justin Cooper. Yeah. The Monster Energy Yamaha Star Racing rider was having such a great race, and he has gone down. Well, I believe it was in that first uh, rhythm section, Lee. We talked about it in the 250. I told you, I, I, I was saying how it's a very difficult section. Here he's going to the inside, cuts over. Ooh. Oh, 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 wow. oh, 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 man, yeah. he is up, up, thankfully, look at this, Roxon just got by Justin Ooh, Barsha, there, hello, uh -huh. Ken's wondering what's going on, so the X-Star Progressive Suzuki rider gets by the Troy Lee Design Red Bull Gas Gas Man, and it's check and flag time for Eli Tomac. Revs are up, gates down, let's do this. Who gets the jump? Cooper Webb, oh. wow! Jet Lawrence almost slammed into the back of him. Anderson's up the inside, but it's Cooper Webb with the whole shot. Cooper slams the door, the 18 of Jet Lawrence, almost high sides on the rear tire of Cooper Webb. Wow, that was close. Jason Anderson is off to a great start, sits second on that Monster Energy Kawasaki. Here comes the champ. Chase Sexton slots into four. Ooh, that was a really good pass by Jet Lawrence. He sneaks underneath, turns down early, underneath Jason Anderson. Ooh, and 
Anderson was going to try to get back by. He went for it, but a little too late. These guys have a little bit of history from earlier in the year, and all of a sudden, Chet Lawrence turns up the heat on Cooper Webb. That's two more laps of treats. Yeah, two more laps of treats. I love it. I mean, this has been an incredible season, Lee. We talked about it at the top of the show. Uh-oh, here you go. Inside, inside, got you him. got it, and runs Webb just a little high. No worries. Yeah, Jet blows him away in the whoops. He's just so much faster uh, than, than Cooper Webb, and he'll, he'll pad a little lead right here. Going to be interesting to see how Cooper Webb responds. I think this is setting up for an awesome main. Check it flag out, and heat two win for Jet Lawrence. And for the first time ever, broadcasting in Spanish. Let's join Edgar Lopez and Tommy Rios now for the start of this one. 250. Lo tenemos todo preparado para este grupo que está comenzando en su última carrera para clasificar a la final de la 250. Todo preparado, los pilotos en la línea asegurándose ya con sus guantes, acelerando. En carrera, doblando la primera curva. ¿Y quién va a tomar un accidente? Oh, parece que hubo un accidente en la primera curva. Where's Justin Cooper? How's he going to play it? He's out wide. He's taking it carefully. Doesn't get the whole shot, but that doesn't matter. He's just gingerly working his way through. He's back in about seventh at the moment, closest to camera. Yeah, he's doing right here, being a little cautious. I think the big thing for Justin Cooper, if he can get through a lap, that thing start to thin out and gets a little more single file. He'll be able to pick his way through to transfer position, or should rather. So this time Masterpool, who got by Anthony Rodriguez, he is in fourth, they're on their way home, final lap. And this is how Ty got that spot away from Ooh, Rodriguez. Crosses him up, slides back down the inside, and oh, A-Rod trying to get back by. He does, isn't able to make the triple, but then surrenders the position because he was outside. Ty was up on the inside, and that was a good pass back by Ty. And it's an LCQ victory for Benny Bloss. That's his sixth career LCQ victory. Two at big news last week, 27-year-old Adam Cian Cirillo announcing his retirement. AC won 11 amateur championships, the most of anyone on a mini bike in 2014. He made his Supercross debut, was victorious straight away in his 250 career, ended with 11 wins. He finished second in the points three straight years. He went to the outdoors, got his first professional championship. To round out that year, he jumped aboard the 450 in Vegas, got a $100,000 check. Unfortunately, that had been the last time he was on the top step of the podium in the 450 career, because it was marred with injury after injury, and AC will farewell his riding career at the Supercross finale in Salt Lake City. Mentally, I'm in a great spot. Yeah, I mean, the, the support has been overwhelming, to, to be honest. I was not expecting uh, for it to be such a big deal, but um, it's been been really cool. Feels like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders a little bit, and uh, obviously I just want to enjoy these last five as much as I can. Uh, we had that crash in St. Louis, and my ankle is not feeling great. I'm not going to lie. I only was able to ride a little bit uh, this Wednesday, and that's it. So I'm going to do my best to just get through it today, keep the feet on the pegs. Um, but in general, just, just grateful, grateful to be a part of this. And yeah, I'm gonna enjoy these last ones. On the inside, that's Seth Hamaker. He's trying to push his way through on top of Vial. Vial in danger, boy. Deegan has a look to his left, and here comes Vial. But Hayden Deegan gets the whole shot and takes off. Yeah, this is going to be a great battle. Oh, here goes Hamaker up the inside. Tries to get a piece of Vial. Isn't able to do it. Little bit of contact there on Vial's swing arm. Not too bad, though. Where is the championship leader? Here he comes. There's McAdoo, slides into fourth. I came out of the gate swinging on that um, first 250 heat race, saying, Hayden Deegan, he's got to show us what he's made of. All this hype. Look at this, inside. Teammate on teammate, Cameron McAdoo blows by Seth Hamaker. Well, it's championship time, and you're going to see a lot of these guys running up front. Oh, look at this. Inside goes Cameron McAdoo. 
He has shown us that that is his key spot on this track. Lap after lap, it will be the second win in 250 East for Yamaha, for Monster Energy, Yamaha Star Racing. So he'll have two, just like Tom Vial has two for Red Bull KTM, and Kawasaki has two. It's a Yamaha night, and Danger Boy does it! In Foxborough, second win on the year. Deegan is back. And don't count him out of this championship with three to go. Tomac, another good start. Webb on the inside, though. Roxon's in the mix. Here comes Anderson. And Lawrence Jett is buried in the pack. Oh, Cooper wasn't able to triple right there. Kenny going to try to get by, doesn't. Another good start from Shane McElrath. He's on the inside with his teammate, Ken Roxon. Anderson goes around the outside. Webb, Roxon, Anderson, McElrath. Inside is Sexton now, gets McElrath for four. Just that oh. Tomac got tangled on that opening nap, and Tomac has had problems again. He's right in front of Jet Lawrence. You're talking well down the order, outside the top ten. What happened? This will tell us. Well, this goes over the finish line jump. Gonna come through. Oh, what happened was as he's leaning the bike over, he accelerates to get a good drive out of the corner, and the rear end slides over the top of the rut and slides out. Similar to these guys. Oh, inside Jet Lawrence on Eli Tomac, and then takes that defensive inside line. Tomac tries to switch back but lost a little momentum. So Jet makes that move stick, and that's gonna be positive move in. The championship, folks, we are all tied at the top. Jet Lawrence and Cooper Webb are tied at the top of this Monster Energy AMA Supercross Championship. That wasn't a great exit there from Ken Roxon, and that's given Chase Sexton some momentum. Kickstart Kenny has been right oh, by No, what? Wow. And Sexton on the inside! Still can't get it done! Ken Roxon has been the everywhere man tonight! And finally he can't hold Sexton off anymore! Final lap, they're on their way home! Cooper Webb staring down his fourth win of the season! And here is Lawrence on the inside of Anderson! Oh, this is going to be tight! Here comes Sexton! And he is not done with yet, this is where he's been pretty good! Has Cooper Webb got enough? Can Lawrence do anything about Anderson? So much to play for. Do we leave here the championship tied? Or does Lawrence keep it? And does Webb get another win? Or does Sexton upset the night? Two guys he's at the front. He's got to guard the inside right here. He's got enough. He's got enough, but he goes high. Cooper Webb wins in Foxborough and shares the championship lead, or does he? Jet Lawrence, oh, almost spins out. We are tied at the top of this championship. Lawrence gave it everything, but this man shows yet again what a fighter he is. Hi folks, Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.